Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of Nuo's educational program. I'm Sean from the solution team, and to my right is our lovely Manny from marketing. Hello everyone. Sitting inside this box is our latest recording platform, the NVR Solo, which won the SIA's best new product in video storage and management at 2013's IEC West exhibition. Today, we are going to unbox and set up this unit, connect IP cameras to it, and be able to push the video through the internet so we can see both live view and playback images right on my cell phone. Now, sitting in front of me are the devices which we'll use today to make this work. All the way to the right, we have an off-the-shelf switch which is plugged into the facilities network to give us internet access, a brand new IP camera in this box, a set of USB mouse and keyboard, a monitor, and of course, a brand new MVR Solo in its original packing. Now we are going to demonstrate the automated setup of MVR Solo on the clock. While Manny is working through these boxes, I like to spend some time and share with you some insights on how MVR Solo came about. In the past few years, Nuo has dedicated itself to teach the security market on IP and networking knowledge. In fact, we have held over 200 classes and worked with hundreds of security dealers to help them set up their very first IP MVR system. During any of these classes, you get people who come into the class and ask you questions such as, what does IP stand for? These people are security dealers who have been using DVR in the past 10, 5 to 10 years. And for them, it is very difficult to make a transition. That is why we, we, help, we hold these classes. These are four eight hour long classes where they will come in and set up everything hands on. And everyone in the class is able to graduate setting up their very first IP system, connect the IP cameras, and be able to see remotely through the internet. And they can do the same thing in their office. But what happens is that once they pre-configure their MVR and IP video system, take them out to the fields and start the installations for their customer. What happened in the field is the camera starts not show. They are not able to connect through the internet. They got the IP conflict with the existing network at the customer side. So all kinds of different issues they run into because the network environments are very different at each different customer's locations. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of all these junks and all these hassles for the security dealers to make it as easy as possible and as similar as to a DVR as possible. What do you do when you set up DVR? You simply plug the coax cable into the BNCs in the back of the DVR and you can see the video. So we want to do the same thing with the solo. We want the dealers to be able to simply connect the, the Cat5 or Cat6 cable to the switch the camera to the switch and be able to see the video just by doing that. But we took it, we take it a, a step further. We allow the user to connect and push the video through the internet without dealing with the routers, the firewalls, the ports, and DNS. So we want to simplify this to the, the minimalist where they have to do nothing but other than connecting the camera. And that is why we designed the MVR Solo. So what many did is simply connecting the system, plug the mouse and the keyboard to the USB ports that we have on the Solo and to the monitor. So this is just like a complete DVR standalone system where you can use mouse and keyboard to do local playback, local live view, local configuration. But at the same time, you can also do all this live view playback and configuration remotely, okay? So this is the first time the MVR system uh, initial boot. Now MVR Solo has booted up initially into a language selection screen and we're just going to go ahead and select English. Now the MVR Solo is going to ask us what mode you should use so we just go, go ahead and use advanced mode and click next and here it's going to prompt us to, to uh, for the login credential and that is just usually admin admin this is for your initial setup okay so you need to double confirm admin admin click OK this is a step where MVR Solo determines its role on, on the network as far as DHCP server goes. We have a technology that we put in that's called Smart Enable. It is a special technology that MVR uses to determine whether or not it should be the one assigning IP addresses to the device on the network. If there is not an active DHCP server already on the network, then 
MVR Solo will enable its DHCP server and start assigning IP addresses. If there is already another DHCP server on the network, then Solo will act as a device on the network and be on the receiving end, which is the case we, that we have here. The next automated process is adding IP cameras to the recorder. MVR Solo will automatically find any compatible IP cameras on the network for you to select and add to the recording channels. And as you saw earlier, as many was clicking through, MVR Solo found one camera and now we are adding that camera to, to the MVR Solo. Notice there is no option to enter the user and password for the camera. That is because these cameras are already integrated, have their user and password, password already integrated into the MVR Solo. So every single camera that the MVR Solo supports has user and password already integrated. So you never have to type them in. And that is why this camera when we take it out of the box it will work the way it will work with the MVR Solo directly. Now MVR Solo there are three ways MVR Solo can find the IP cameras on the network. First you can find the IP cameras using a direct camera search tool that's already integrated onto the Solo. So there are some manufacturers, you have to check our compatibility list, but there are some manufacturers where you integrate directly to your camera storage tool, which usually comes with the CD. And then the second step is we can use a UPnP universal plug and play. So any camera that supports UPnP protocol, MVR Solo will be able to find it. And the third step for MVR Solo is to do a generic Unwave search. So any camera that supports Unwave protocol, providing that's the right version, MVR Solo will be able to find it as well. Now we have finished the initial configuration for MVR Solo to reside on our network and configure the IP cameras. We're gonna log into the system now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do admin, admin. Okay. And now you can see the camera here. This is the camera that we have set up uh, earlier out of the box, the brand new camera. We can see the live view camera already. Now we're going to go into the manual. Okay, it's going to ask me to type in the user and password again as a security measure. So again, this is admin admin. Usually you only do this once. Now here, this is the, the manual for NVR Mini. So we already finished camera configuration. So we're going to go ahead and tap over to the network setting. Here in the network setting, we want to go to Easy Newell Registration. What Easy Newell is, is a, a cloud portal that Newell, host, now Newell has available for the dealers. So you can use this cloud portal, to, you can register your device with this cloud portal and be able to see this device on the network without port forwarding, firewall, and DNS setup. Okay, so right now this Easy Newell is gonna ask you to type in a name for the device. Now we're just gonna name this Newell Cloud test this connection, it says the ID is available. So we're gonna go ahead and save and exit. And there we have completed the second step of pushing the video through the internet. And now that we have finished configuring MVR Solo, we're gonna test this internet connection using a phone app. So this is the app that I have downloaded, this is called the Newer iViewer. You can download it from the app store. So once I tap tabbing, I'm gonna add a site. Let's go to the plus sign. Uh, typically, you will use this IP address. Have to enter the uh, IP address, or uh, server and port for the MVR for any MVR. But here we have easy new, so we don't have to do that. And here you only need to enter the server ID. So we're gonna go ahead and enter a name for this demo site. Type in the server ID, which is new cloud that we registered earlier. Okay, the username is admin. Okay, I'm gonna pass on this paste is faster this way. Save this. Okay, now it's saved. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this. Indicating this should take uh, anywhere from five to 10, maybe 15 seconds max. It's connected to the server. And here it's trying to bring out the, the camera. So I'm gonna, okay, there we go. Okay, so this is a light video as you can see here. I'm gonna do playback on the app as well. So now let's go back, I'm gonna check the clock. Okay, so right now we're running about seven minutes and 19 seconds. Uh, we stop um, during this video a little bit. So um, typically you can keep this under seven minutes. Okay, so this is how long it takes to set up 
uh, MVR Solo from scratch.